July 1st, 2020. Uh, this one I got a no AC call from a guy, Systems. I think he said it's 10, 12 years old. And uh, he said it's off. It's been off for a couple of days. A lot of times it's, it's something simple, get them up and running, you know. Not always, but... We'll try to get you some shots, but something that's something interesting. Sometimes it's just a brown wire or a cap or low on Freon. Could be anything. So for him, it's something easy. He's gonna go turn it on inside. It is. I did. Those run. Maybe it's low on charge. Hand spin, so it is running. He's going to turn it on inside. We'll check the charge. Have you changed the filter inside? You didn't seem to understand what I was saying. That filter inside has to be changed. So I'll, the only filter that I'm aware of is in the, in the furnace. That's the one I'm talking about. Um, last spring. And like I said, I, I'm i used to changing the furnace two or three times a year or more, but because it's propane, they're like, oh, it's very clean. It doesn't need to be changed as often as what they do. They weren't, they probably weren't aware that I had central AC. We need to be concerned about We're low that. on Freon, that's for sure. It is? Yeah, all right. 89, I mean, it should be above 100. What's the, if it's full, what's it be? Above 100 on a day like this. Somebody filled it last spring. Okay, well, obviously you got a leak. Okay. Well, that's what I thought, but until someone comes out. Once they stop filling it, obviously, you know, it's got a leak somewhere and they're going to. Well, well, we've owned the house four years. We haven't had any issues for the first three. So. Definitely. So you can see there's, there's no subcooling in the system, and then we're at 87, we're below 100. So we see we got no subcooling. Okay. We're definitely low. So I gotta eat, you gotta put some 410 A in it, or it's not gonna work. Alright. So, that, you should be worried about that rusty, whatever that is that you just. Oh, that's not looking so kosher, is it? No. Let me get some gas in it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's got a leak on it right there. That might be where the leak is. Oh. Are you able to replace something like that? Yeah, I would have to pump it down, change it, and pull a vacuum on it, and get it back up and running. But that's definitely, you want to see it? How can you tell? Yeah. Well, right here, I can see the bubbles. I'm over here where my finger is on this side. Okay. See the bubbles? Yep. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw that, and even last year, and I'm like, when the guy came out last year to do the Freon, I, I should have asked him then. It just looks like it, it could rot off. So all we'll have to do is pump it down, change that, pull a vacuum on it, and get it up and running again. So do you replace that thing completely? We'll have to, yeah. Okay. That's definitely a leak. I mean, I can see it bubbling right out of there. Yeah. You can see it, right? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Well, that's definitely an issue. So what we'll do is we'll pump it down and change it. Yeah, how old do you think this thing is? Can you tell? Like, I figure it's like 8 or 10 years old. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, somewhere in that area. If it's dirty. It never looks that dirty. I guess, you know, we don't, we don't really use it. Yeah. If it's not dirty, you don't have to worry about it. If it's yeah. dirty, you're going to worry about it. We're going to pump it down and change that, that dryer. I should have one in the truck. Okay. It's not a heat pump, right? It's just AC? No, it's just AC. They have a regular furnace, like I said, up in the attic. And the Ice cream truck. Hey, Mom. Stay over here. All right, so it's pumping down. We're pumping down, and we're going to, when we get down to zero, we'll, we'll shut off the... Shut up the suction side when it gets down to zero. Pumping it down. Definitely got a leak in it, there's no doubt about that. We'll put a new one on there. Oh, you have a new one? Yeah. Nice. That probably should do it, I would imagine. Definitely a leak. Yeah. I mean, when you could actually see it like that, bubbling. Yeah. Unless there's leaks in multiple different. Well, it's possible. I mean, let's change this. You could see it leaking, so. Yeah. I mean, that thing's days were numbered anyway, it looked like. Uh-huh. Say that again? It looked like that thing needed to be replaced regardless. Yeah, it's kind of like all. <laughs> you can keep keep it painted, Put some keep some paint on it. Yeah. So the filter inside's clean. Again, I haven't looked at it this year. Well, why don't you go look at it now? Well, it's really tough. It's up in the attic. I have to get a ladder, and it's, it's 
not as easy as. And you get up there and it's dicey. You got to walk on a couple of boards to just to, you know. I mean, if I have to, I will, but it's just not that easy to. Well, like I, that's like you telling me, oh, can't you just fix the leak? It depends on where it is and where, where the leak is. No, and no, I understand. It's not always easy. No, I know. It's a little two-ton unit, so we have we have a fill, we have a dryer that can fit in there and be fine. It's not always easy. Yeah. Everybody thinks everything's so simple. No, I know. And people and, until until they until they go and try doing it themselves. Yeah. You know, it's like. And their expectations are through the roof. They expect everything yesterday. Probably should cut that growth back too, so it's not the, the vegetation. Not easy. Well, the good thing is you're your own boss. Yeah, that's one good thing about it. Right? Yeah. You make your own schedule. Yeah, I pick and choose my own jobs. Yeah. Yeah, so this shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm going to need to pull a vacuum on this and then we can get it back together. Okay. And uh, that should take care of the leak. All right. And even if... Well, that definitely was a leak because you've seen it bubbling. Yeah. So, and what you could do is... But even um, if you put Freon in now, right, and it's say there's some other leak and whatever, I'm just thinking very short term I shouldn't be, but with family come down in the holiday, we should be good for the next week, right? With regard to keeping the place relatively cool? I would think so. Okay. I mean, there's no guarantees. No. The only guarantee is that I'm going to give you a bill when I leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only guarantees of life is that you. you're going to die and pay taxes. That's it. Some of the two. Some of the two for sure. got a leak like that you could actually see it I mean let's fix it and then take it from there right the arrow's going up vacuum on it, that's what we want to see. Yeah, that's something that you're going to have to change. I mean, you need to keep those focus on it, you know? Yeah, it's going to be a
you want to make sure everything stays open. You keep... want to come inside in a minute? And we'll just yeah, it. once I get this thing up and running, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll go inside and check it, okay? I did a good job. The guy we bought from rented this whole place, but and he, he had this AC installed. There's just a couple of things that I don't like, like the, like I said, the levers that open and close, the ducts are cheap. The plastic handles, one of them broke off. It's missing, I don't know where it is. Oh, really? Yeah. So you as a homeowner, I mean, you should keep up with them filter changes. No, I hear you. Like I said, I got confused last year when the heating company's like, oh, you don't really have to change them frequently because the, the propane burns so cleanly, is what they had said to me. Like, That's okay. bullshit. No, it's the air filter. It's the air filter. that The, the air's not that clean. Yeah. He said that to you because he didn't want to go up there. No, I think I just called them. I mean, like I said, I've been up there. I don't like to go up there either, but it's not a big deal. But I just, when they said that... I had to hold off and put her into one for a while. So you're not sure if all the registers are open or not? No, you want to, like I said, why don't we take a quick look? I want to show you something else inside, like I said. All right, let me get the mask. The free arm is still good? Yeah, so I added some, right? Yeah. So we're going to stay with it right there, it's fine. All right, let me bring it on side of the Yeah, I'm going to just take all my gauges off. We're going to stick with it we're, we're right where it is. I don't want to put no more in because this is... This was definitely the leaker. It was leaking right there from the... That thing's a relic. Look at it. Four and a half pounds. 